something is down here somewhere. Yeah, I think you get off right here. Oh god, that went terribly well for... Well, Tell you what. Oh god, it's, sorry, it's way in the other direction. You know what? Maps are helpful. Here, follow me. Oh! Fo follow, ow. Yes, follow me. Follow the Maserati MC-12. Follow the version of the Enzo that Clarkson didn't like. <laughs> As I was saying, guys, um, posting this video where we were talking about games that we loved in 2014, like our best games. Last part, uh, we talked about the uh, games we can't wait for like 2015. So, um, yeah, as I said, if you want to see that part, go ahead and go over to TC's channel. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, basically what happened was EK's computer crashed uh, mid-recording, and there was nothing we could really do, so what we decided to do is, um, oh god, somebody went into the car meet, um, <laughs> but no, um, what we decided to do was, oh, go away, free roam game party session found, I don't want that, <laughs> um, what we decided to do, maybe we can get that right this time, is upload the first part of it on my channel, and, uh, and then upload the second part on both of our channels since EK actually just kind of lost the, um, the footage. So, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that we need to talk about, though, is like he said, or like EK said, our favorite racing games of 2015. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, um, Horizon 2 was, I would say it's definitely one of the ones that got some of the most play, uh, play time, I guess you could say, from me. Um, there was... What else was there? Uh, there was... Did the latest grid come out this year? I actually forgot, because I played that a little bit, but... I'm not What's sure. This year? The latest grid. Uh, um... No, don't really know. I don't think so. But either way, um, so we had Horizon 2, we had The Crew, uh, we've got Drive Club, which actually I did not play. I did not touch Drive Club, um, because I was kind of... I was kind of into other games at the time, and also with playing a ton of GTA. Um, Drive Club just kind of, for me, it didn't quite warrant getting a PS4. Um, but obviously, I've been finding out that there's there's a lot more games that are coming out for PS4 at this point. But um, but at the time, that was Drive Club was the game, the only game I was really looking at for PS4, and I felt like, well, there's got to be, like for me, I gotta I gotta have more than one game to get a system for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, I was kind of iffy to getting it first because the original goal for getting it was to drive club, but hell, oh god, for <laughs> <laughs> a little while, but um, eventually bought it. I bought drive club, and it's very, very good. It just had like a weather update. I'm sure you guys know that by now, and it is absolutely amazing. Probably one of the best weather effects you can get in a racing game. Um, yeah, the weather does look really good. In the videos that I have seen, the weather looks really, really good. In terms of, like, like graphics and stuff, a lot of people do rip the piss about it, but um, if you actually play the game for yourself, it's actually been really, really good. And the handling is probably one of the best in a racing game because... Um, really? Because it kind of looks like, when I watch it, it... Oh, ow. Um, but when I watch it, it kind of looks, like, jumpy and shaky. It's weird. Well... I think the best experience playing in Drive Club is like in the first person's perspective and like the cockpit view. So um, basically if you go on the outside it is quite uncontrollable sometimes, you know what I mean? But um, Right. It's all about it's all about the interior view in Drive Club racing. It's absolutely astonishing. But as I was saying, you need to focus a lot in that game because Take your eye off the road for one second, we'll let something go down. We are so. Now, how's the sense of speed? Well, the sense of speed probably one of the best in the game because that is the, that's probably the biggest comment that everyone gives it. It's like the sense of speed is amazing. Isn't it? He's even uh -huh. little mini Cooper GPs. They're absolutely amazing for speed. So it's like you actually feel like you're really going. You know what I mean? Really do. It feels like it feels like you're sitting there going. That actual speed. So, in Horizon 2, you can feel like you're going really, really fast. Right? Take, for example, this in a Hennessy Venom GT. You're going really, really fast in that. So, 
Drive Club. Compare it to Drive Club. Oh my god. A Ow! Difference. Dang it. That didn't work. But, um... Also, now... I think, I believe you said actually earlier on in the video that this was our favorite, these were our favorite games of 2015. We're actually recapping our, our favorites from 2014 right now. So, um, that was, I feel like, I don't know if that got missed or not. I kind of feel like it did in the beginning of the video. But, um, another, I thought I said 2014. You said 2015, I think. I'm pretty sure I remember you saying 2015. No, I said 2015 about the previous video. That's why I said if you've not seen part one, Oh, right. Okay. And I kind of made it through there. I kind of made it through there. Not quite, but I kind of did. Now, besides games that are, uh, that I guess we kind of played, uh, that we kind of played this year, or, well, that came out this year, are there any games that you played this year that came out earlier on but hadn't, but you hadn't played before? Uh, what do you mean, like? So, like, say... Late. Yeah, like say it came out like I don't know three years ago, four years ago, but you only oh, but you okay. hadn't played it until this year. Okay, right. Um, I don't really know. I don't really know because I know like all the latest and greatest racing games, but um, in terms of that, I'm not too sure. I'm not really too sure because like a game just came out several years ago and I just played it this year. I'm not really too sure for that one. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, sometimes that's the way it goes, but also I feel like one of the games that I had a lot of fun with was actually um, Euro Truck Simulator 2, and especially when the multiplayer for that came out, oh man, I haven't played it in a long time, but I had a ton of fun with that game this year for sure. I don't know, have you ever played it? It's, it's worth it, dude. It might seem boring when you look at, like, when you look at it, like, in videos and stuff, but when you actually play Euro Truck Simulator 2, it's actually a ton of fun. Hey, go. <laughs> hey, go. Yeah. And also, don't be like, if you do actually end up trying it, don't be, I guess you could say, scared when the game first starts up because it seems really technical, but it's actually nowhere near as bad as it, you know, makes itself out to be. Yeah. Where are you? You didn't get the top. Oh, yeah, you get it top of the runway. <laughs> I'm on my way back right now. And... Testing the brakes! Hitting the wall! Wow! Wow! That was ridiculous. Oh my god! And where are you? I'm behind you! Oh god! <laughs> Did you think about that one before you said it, or no? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. You were the one that thought that. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> in terms of, like, other like, racing games and stuff, um, that I've probably tried out yet, uh, I'm not too sure, because, as I've said, I've got all of them uh, this year, basically, so... Really know what else. I don't really know what else. Like in terms of like non racing games, I tried Assassin's Creed Unity, but as you all know, that had several bugs when it started. Um, um, oh, actually, you know what? I meant to ask you how that was. Did because I didn't. I haven't tried it yet. Is it any good? It's good. It kind of it kind of reflects back to Assassin's Creed 2, but not as much as you think. Like it uh -huh. wants to go in that direction, but then. It just kind of fails. It just kind of fails. Does it have, like, does it have a, as much uh, parkour as it used to? Because that was, like, one of my favorite yeah, parts yeah, of Assassin's still Creed. Still has a lot of parkour. Still has a lot of parkour in it, but um, it's just not as fun as I thought it would be. AC2, hands down, is the best one, in my opinion. It is. Yeah, AC2 was really, really good. Now, how do you feel about the fact that they there was kind of, like, this whole leak... Uh, about like Rockstar and everything, there's they supposedly confirmed that they're working on GTA 6. How does how do you feel about that? Um, I don't really know because there was a leak the other week or something like that. It was um, actually in San Andreas 2. For some reason. Yeah, well, either it was like GTA 6 or San Andreas 2 or whatever they had in mind for it. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. 
The actual news story said it was going to be coming out in 2015. Now, Rockstar are still working pretty damn hard on GTA 5. Well, see, the thing is, the thing is about GTA 5. Do you think that they're going to meet the, the new deadline for heists? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm a little doubtful. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully they do. What a I hope they do as well, but I mean, I kind of... Because it was it was supposed to come out last spring. Yeah, I know, but... Still, they were having problems with, like, all, like, hacking and stuff, so they wanted to, like, fix that out. But in terms of, like, right now, where they sit, finally got rid of Lizard Squad, which is quite good. Um, so they shouldn't have any trouble anymore. Um, yeah. But I think, like, in terms of getting the day, I think we will. We've had time to work on it, so we should definitely. Yeah, I hope they do. I really hope they actually make that uh, that deadline that they've kind of set for themselves, you know? Yeah. Let's see oh, if we can... Oh. You know what? That would have been great if that traffic car wasn't there. <laughs> would have been so good if that traffic car was not there. I don't think it's ironic how in Forza Horizon 1 we're complaining that there's traffic online, and then there it is Horizon 2 we're complaining that there's traffic online. <laughs> Whoa, uh, yeah, yeah. This thing, this thing's a beast. It really is. It, okay, it's, little fiesta. You know, it's really, really weird. Like, part one, I had a red Jaguar F type, and um, Forrest had a red Corvette Z01. Now, we're yeah. the same similar colors. He's got an MC12, a 2015 Mustang. He's got blue and white. I've got blue and silverish white. <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. In the first episode, we had similar cars with similar colors. Now we just have similar colors. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. This one is a custom version, so we are heading down to Nice. There's a long straight, so... I would like to test that, because the only thing I've touched, like, performance-wise on this car is exhaust. Like, well, perf like, exhaust, and then when it comes to handling, I've done, I've done a race suspension and brakes. So, I mean, in a drag race, well, it should be pretty interesting to see who actually comes out on top. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think, like, the Maserati MC12, like, the stock engine, that has run about, I think. What was the it's about 640, I think. Yeah, 640, 620, even about that, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, no! Anyway. Oh, well, he got it out of the way. <laughs> anyway, here's the straight. Here I can, brake, please. Thank you. Hey, brake. Right you have some here. Oh, Ow. Oh, oh, God. Better lean up with this. That's a bit too much. If you want to warm up your tires, I'll give you a chance to do that. In two seconds, like... Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> First, first pushing the Corvette out of the way. There's a perfect starting line right here. All right. Oh, let me back up a bit. <laughs> All right. Give me a countdown. This thing's your nose isn't exactly in the same bit as me. There we go. Three, two, one, I go. Oh yes. <laughs> Come on, Mustang. Come on. Oh, Ford car traffic car. Oh god, both cars everywhere. Yeah, I know, everywhere. Sucks. <laughs> there you go, kid, you've learned something today. Do not do a drag race in the middle of day on your niece. Doesn't go well. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not at all. <laughs> not whatsoever. Oh. Here comes the big corner. Oh. Hold it, hold it, hold it. See if we can get. Whoa, okay. Hi. Oh, trees. <laughs> I think we're gonna pull in here, guys. This seems like the perfect time to end the video. Oh, my God. Oh, I missed it. I missed it by a little bit. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. But yeah. Anyway, guys, we are gonna end the video off here today. Hope you've enjoyed the first and second part. As I said, you can check out the first part on TC's channel as well, and the link for him will be down below. Anyway, thanks for watching from me and TC. I'm going to see you later. Peace.